Today on Go Angling, we're going to take a unique look at smallmouth bass fishing on Green Bay. Uh, if you're into bass fishing at all, you know that uh, some really great bass fishing takes place on the bay uh, from Sturgeon Bay north up the Door County Peninsula. Uh, but so far this year, with all the cold temperatures and heavy rains, that bite just really hasn't cooperated. There's been some good days, but most of them have been really tough. So PJ, Vic, and I are going to head to the western shore of Green Bay and see if we can't take our uh, shallow water uh, sneak boat up one of the tributaries that flows into Green Bay. And the reason this has our attention is all that heavy rainfall in these shallow rivers has these tributaries pumping in some very warm water. And that's got to pull some smallmouth up into these little rivers where they should be pretty easy to catch. So come on along with us, see if we find what we're looking for today on Go Angling. In-Depth Outdoors, Go Angling. Brought to you by Gander Outdoors. Hello, tight. Yeah, that looks beautiful though. There's gonna be a lot of this. Yeah. Like endless good looking stuff to fish. <laughs> Nice gentle flow coming mm -hmm. through there. Look good. You fishing tube? Yeah. I'm fishing a little pulsar. Something that's kind of like smally walleye compatible. <laughs> there he is. There we go. I was right. <laughs> that's a small mall. That's a good way to start the day for sure. There we go. Oh yeah. Nice chunker. Totally gulped that little half moon finesse jig and a two and three quarter inch, uh, it's a Z Man tube jig. That was a, a predictable fish. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking one of many. You know, the conditions of spring have just been so up and down that, you know, those big bodies of water like Green Bay just haven't been warming up. Uh, water temps were 47, 48 degrees yesterday morning. So we got to thinking, warmest water's up in the river and there's so much volume of water. Heck yeah, <laughs> that this is where the fish would be. And you were right. You know what, we're, we're, we're not always right. <laughs> <laughs> this one isn't quite as big, but... Great fight. Off you go. Got that one. Ooh. Oop, there's one right away. Get him, Peach. Got him. <laughs> there you are. Good one? The doubles are cool, though. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Double donkeys. <laughs> yeah, that was a Today's nice Today's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> that is what we're looking for. Want a net? I think we better on that one. That's a, that's a big fish. I'm here to help. Ooh. So much power. <laughs> oh, 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 that's legit, buddy. <laughs> Holy cow. Nicely done. That is what we're talking about. Look at the belly on that fish. <laughs> this is a good one. Double. That's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that one's probably approaching the five plus pound range. That is the biggest fish so far. Get that one back. Oof. What a chunk. Off you go, bud. There we go. Good one. Oh, I hate a bad yeah. one, buddy. <laughs> that marabou that just marabou is killing kills. Them. That is a big fish. Man, they're full of fight. Oh, I think I got look her. Look at that peg. Oh, peach. <laughs> oh, look at look the belly at on that thing. Now that is a pregnant mama there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Go. Yes, sir. Come on, fish. I mean, how many nice ones have we taken <laughs> up the tip of that tree? <laughs> that one cooperated, just held her mouth right open and in went the thumb. Such great fish. You know, for a body of water that we've never fished before, 
I guess it's not much of a, you know, take a risk. I don't want to put it that way, but you know, it's a shot in the dark. It is. This is gonna work. Yeah. It's working big time. I have that fish hooked. That's that's one of the cool parts about the small rivers. It, I mean, the tactics are so universal. It's right. one small river is the same as the next. That's a dandy fish. Tubes, marabou, and topwater leader in the summer. If you can fish those three things, you can absolutely beat these big smallmouth. Yeah. In the current. I'm gonna bring it right oh, through no. the slack water. <sighs> yeah, that's that's one of those ones, and there you are again. Somebody's always <laughs> hooked up on one. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a real good Ooh. one. All right, we'll let that one go. Yeah, okay. Off you go, bud. One of the things I did do is I switched over to that marabou jig. I mean, I was catching just as many fish as PJ, but he had better fish. And this is my first cast with that VMC marabou. And that's a nice, nice fish. I'm sure they just think that's something real buggy. Back you go. Goodbye. So one of the baits we're using today, we're kind of uh, two-stepping it here. We've got those small two and three quarter inch tubes, and then we're also fishing a marabou jig. And you're not gonna find these in a lot of bait shops. Uh, it's a really unique bait, and it's used by a lot of Great Lakes smallmouth anglers. And in the package, you look at it, it comes like a puffball, but you put it in the water, those feathers, those marabou feathers, just kind of undulate and breathe. Just a really uh, buggy looking creature in the water that just big smallmouth just love. So if you haven't added this to your arsenal, you're gonna wanna do it. It's just a smallmouth killer. And that's what it looks like out of the package. Like I said, it's just a puff ball, like a cotton ball, but black. You put it in the water though, and it comes to life. Ooh. <laughs> right off the edge of the sandbar, buddy. Looks like it means business again. This marabou is like smallmouth magic. It is. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> oh. That's a wide load there. Holy smokes. That's a future generation of smallmouth right there. Man, is that a fat girl. She's gonna give birth to lots of baby smoke. <laughs> All right, here we go. See ya. Man, I don't think that fish would've gone 19 inches. No, just so tall and round. <laughs> I would bet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I would bet those are lake run fish. I bet you they drop eggs and within two weeks from now they're back down. I would think so. I mean, I'd have a hard time believing this large of smallmouth live up in the small river. They, they look like right. the lake fish. You know? Smell feeders. Yeah. yeah. That is a giant. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, oh. As round as it is tall. <laughs> this is the best river smallmouth fishing I've ever had, bar none, no question yeah. about it, period. So I gotta tell you, that could not have turned out better than it did. You know, when uh, we go explore a new body of water like this for the first time, it's usually hero or zero, and we definitely knocked this one out of the park. I've rarely experienced smallmouth fishing that intense with fish of such awesome average size. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I urge you to tune in every couple days here throughout the summer. We're going to have a new Go Angling video released every Tuesday and every Thursday. So if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do so. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time here at Go Angling.